On August 5th, uh, the NASA rover Curiosity is going to land on Mars. And I have the privilege of being part of that mission. And for the first few days, I'll be the long-term planner, which is one of the people coordinating uh, the first scientific interpretations uh, of what we see uh, when the rover lands. Uh, the purpose of the mission is to understand whether or not Gale Crater and uh, the rocks in it um, formed in an environment that was habitable for life. My expertise is in looking at earth rocks on early Earth and interpreting how they formed, what environment they formed on. And that's one of the main goals of the rover. By looking to see whether or not another planet, in this case Mars, could host life, is sort of a step towards understanding whether or not there ever could have been life um, on Mars as another planet. And so by asking and addressing that question, we're, we're really asking um, a question about who we are, what is our place in the universe. I was asked to co-chair a committee to evaluate possible landing sites. Gale Crater was so attractive to the team as you have um, the crater first forming and then layers of rock formed within the crater and those layers preserved the environments through time. So it's a lot like the Grand Canyon where you have uh, layers of rocks that are recording whether the, that spot on Earth was in the oceans or on land. And you have millions and tens of millions of years of record of how the environment changed uh, through time. Curiosity is a very special rover. It, there are a lot of firsts. And uh, so one of them is it has the first color cameras that are going to Mars. And that will be some of the first data that we get down are these color images. And so that's really exciting. It's also the first rover that can actually pick up a sample and uh, analyze it in a, in a chemistry suite. So it has a drill that can drill into a rock, collect the powder, and put it into an instrument. And there are a couple of instruments that will use that powder, one of which uh, will tell, you, tell us uh, what minerals are present. Um, another one is capable of detecting organic compounds. Another one of my cool firsts is it has a laser that zaps rocks. And so it can vaporize rocks at a distance, and then it looks at the light that's emitted when it vaporizes to get at the composition. So I always often joke that it's like Marvin the Martian, except that it gives more information <laughs> and is more <laughs> friendly. <laughs> there are other firsts as well. Instrument that measures radiation, and um, that's really important if we ever send astronauts to Mars to know how to protect them from uh, the radiation environment on the surface of Mars. One of the reasons that uh, being a professor and a scientist is so exciting to me, is sharing that knowledge. And at UC Davis, I have the opportunity to participate in a mission like this and then bring that information back with me to campus. And what I learn will be integrated into my classes and I'll be sharing with uh, the university community. And I really hope that um, students across campus um, can enjoy my experiences and actually participate in by following the mission and thinking about how we want to explore Mars or other places in the future. And so it's really a privilege to be uh, a member of the UC Davis community and to be the community's connection to such an exciting mission.